Welcome to Who Pops Your Popcorn. Where you learn to market to the right people at the right time, the new way. I'm Shahar. And I'm Nash. You know, today I want to talk about food. Tell me. Yeah, you know lately uh, we had the recall for the peanut butter? Yes. Yeah, I want to ask you one thing. And it's related to your list, to your database. Mm. How are you using your database? Are they part of your business? Are you really uh, trying to get the best for them? Or are you just trying to sell over and over and over and over to them? Hmm. Because most people, that's all they try to do. But let me tell you what a company did that is really cool. Tell me. A company we are all, all aware of is Costco. Ah. Costco got to know about the peanut butter recall. Uh -huh. They got their database, they checked who had bought products that were part of that recall, and then guess what? They used a robocall to call those customers and say, hey John, you bought two bags of that peanut butter granola bar, or whatever uh -huh. it was, and come uh, get a refund for that. Okay. Okay, so instead of expecting that people are going to get to know things through the news and then take action of what they are supposed to do, they were proactive, Yes. they contacted the customer and said this is what's best for you, you bought yeah. this, now you need to, to bring it back. Mm -hmm. That's how we should be using our lists and our database. Yes. Oh, and you might be thinking it takes work because then I have to segment. Well, well it does. But, you know, sure, it takes work, but they just won those customers right there and then. Exactly. Everybody that you go around say, hey, I love Costco, and for a good reason. They'll do that, even if there was a recall. They'll think, well, Costco was, they took, they were proactive enough to go in and to call me and to say, hey, you've bought this. Yes. It shows them that they care. So instead of just pounding them and trying to sell them stuff, no. They took action and they told them, hey, listen, Shahar, you've bought this product. Now come back and uh, replace it, do whatever. Yes. And all it took was to have a segmented list and a robocall service that you can get for $20 a month. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yes. Okay, and we want to talk about a cool website that we found. That's right, we want your heart. Tell us what that is. Well, let's say you got for Christmas, you got a lot of gift cards. Yes, you know. yes, and you didn't like some of them because you really don't, you don't have a use for it. Cards. Yeah, or you're short of cash, you need some money right away. Well, there is a website called giftcardrescue.com where you can go there, put your website to sell, uh -huh. and of course they are going to pay you around 60 to 80 percent of the value, and you can get the cash, or you can uh, exchange for ah. another gift card, and then the transaction is That's free. That's great, giftcardrescue.com. Mm -hmm. Use it to get rid of your the gift cards you're not going to use. Yes. Use it to make some extra money, to exchange it for something else that you'd like to use. Yeah, it's a really cool website. Yes. And uh, the tool? The tool for today is called You Send It. Y-O-U-S-E-N-D-I-T dot com. And basically that website, you use it to share large files with people. Let's say, Shahar, you have a video file that you want to share with me, that you want to send me the latest episode of Who Pops Your Popcorn yes. or something. And you want to email it to me. Well, it's just too large of a file for you to email and it's going to bounce back. So, use a tool like you send it to upload it to them. It's really quickly and easily. Very just, easy. We yeah, are always about very easy. easy. Right on the first page they tell you. you browse, upload, tell it who you want to send it to, and bam, it's done. Cool. Mm -hmm. You send it. You send it com. Use it to send large files. Yeah, test today, and you know what? I would suggest do upload one of the episodes of Who Pops Your Popcorn and send to a friend, just one friend. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's a good that's idea. That's a good idea. Now I have a question for you and for you. Oh. When was the last time you went to Second Life? Second Life? I, about a year ago, I think. You know what? More or less. Yeah, you and a lot of people. The funny thing is Second Life was the rage two, yeah. two years ago was the thing for you to be doing on, on the social media environment. But today really it's all news. Well, people are always after the next beautiful blingy blingy thing. It's all, uh, you have Facebook and now everything is about Twitter. I want to warn you about one thing. What? What really matters in social media hmm. is the strategy you have. That's right. And behind that you must have a sound business model. It's not just having an idea, going to Facebook and then start selling millions. Yes, you do hear a lot of gurus saying that. Be a little careful of all those gurus. You do need a business model first. 
a good product or service to sell and then use social media with a strategy and of course always listening to what your audience is telling you and then taking action. It's not about using all the tools or always the next big tool out there. Yeah. Because if you don't have that, you are not going to succeed in this environment. You're going to go crazy trying every single new the tool out there. Person. Yes, and, and falling in prey of a lot of people that are saying out there they're making millions using this tool and that tool. Well, if there is no business model behind that, right. beware. Yes. Okay. Well, I think that's our show for today. Yep, that's our show for today. Tune in next week. See you next time. See ya.